So I am so excited to have my friend Peter here with me because he is a cost optimization specialist. You're on the business cash flow page for a reason. You're trying to figure out how do I get this nightmare of a thing called the business running for me and working for me versus me scrambling every day to survive financially. So Pete is here. He's got such a really cool niche in terms of what he does to help you save money. Pete, thank you for being here today. I want you to explain what is a cost optimization specialist? Yeah, thanks, Howard, first for uh, allowing me to, to talk to you today and your, and your customers or your partners. What Schooling Mitchell started uh, 25 years ago as a big, one of the kind of big eight accounting firms in Canada. And uh, 22 years ago, one of the customers approached Dennis Schooley and said, hey, look, you see where I'm spending all my money. How can I be smarter about it? And so Dennis Schooley went off and thought about it. And 22 years ago, uh, for you older folks, it was called PBX Phone Systems. And they were super expensive and, you know, very intensive application. I mean, it wasn't the internet VoIP, right, where I could get a phone system tomorrow for 10 people. Uh, the PBX is a very involved, very hardwired. And uh, Dennis Schooley started with that saying, hey, look, you know what? We have a great contract in our accounting firm that has a couple hundred employees. We realize you only have 20, but we can go help you out. And so they started this process of going to vendors. Uh, we are vendor agnostic and going to vendors and saying, hey, look, this guy's with X. He's looking to make a change and save some money. Who wants to partner with them? And so then we would write a contract. The contract is actually with the customer. We are in reviewing the um, monthly billing. And as we've come across, as we've moved through the 22 years that Schooley Mitchell has been doing this, we now do waste and uh, small package shipping. The, um, uh, pay, the pay that you may, or when you do take credit cards, there's a fee and we, help you with those fees, then we still do um, internet and phone systems, so the times have changed. And what we really are specific around these four areas today. Now we've been expanding and we will continue to expand as the markets come open and make sense that we can provide the best benefit for you. But once we put you in our system and you say go, we continue reviewing these for the next three years because we believe that two things are gonna happen. Either your business is gonna change and expand and you're gonna need different services than you did today when we first signed up, or two, the providers is gonna be an entrance to more providers into the business that we can provide leverage for you. And that's what we wanna give you is the, the benefit of us having 22,000 clients across the US and knowing what the best vendors are and provide those benefits to you. But you do what you do best, we do what we do best and together we can make you a leaner company. Got it. So you mentioned kind of the, the big four services you do right now. Let's just pick on like waste because, you know, to the average person, that's just a commodity. Garbage truck just comes to my house or it comes to my business because you really only focus on the business, not on the personal side, correct? Correct. Yeah. So it comes to my business. If I own the building, a waste company is a waste company is a waste company. I didn't even know that I could potentially compare and compete with different garbage trucks. So can you kind of give an example? Let's just say that I've been in business for eight to 10 years. How much am I probably paying? And how much could you potentially save me? Yeah, so um, it depends on the business, right? Some businesses don't produce a lot of trash, but if you think about medical facilities or production facilities, there's a lot of waste involved. And then you may have some, you know, you may have some waste in barrels, you may have medical waste. So you have all these different components that make up your waste. And what we do is there are vendors out there that do waste, but they do it in different ways than what you think of the big companies out there. And and we might actually say, hey, instead of just having three gigantic 
you know, whatever those big gigantic trash cans they lift up with the machines, you know, we may say we're going to put one trash can, we're going to put a recycling, metal recycling, and a paper recycling. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to provide you anywhere between 70 and 80% cost savings because the vendor that's now doing your trash is not just putting it all in the landfill. They're appropriately using it. They may be making some money on the recycling components net net to you is you're going to pay less. And this happens in every city, every county, every state across the U.S., right? And there are, for every two vendors you can think of, we can find six more that do the same thing, but at a significant savings versus what you're paying. And most companies that start, especially in the waste category, they sign with one and then they accept all the fee payment increases that go along until they get fed up and they talk to someone like us and we come in and go, hey, we're, we can help you out. Okay, so it's a, I, I hate to think about it this way, but it's almost like if you're with an auto insurance for too long, you're gonna be paying more than the new guy because it's just part of doing business. I didn't even know I could negotiate and next thing you know, you're saving them a few hundred bucks a month. I got a better one for you and it just happened to me. <laughs> I, I've been with a certain insurance agency for 30 years, a family friend of ours. Yeah. You know, my rates have been going up and up and up and up. And then through networking, a friend of mine said, hey, look, you need to have someone evaluate what you're paying, right? I think about my cars all the time because I have five teenage drivers or I had five teenage drivers. My insurance, which used to be dirt cheap, is going through the roof. So I think about cars. I never thought about my home. I went and had someone review it and I saved $1,800 a year because they put that uh, inflation cost on my house every year. Okay. So my house was worth about 40%. They said it was worth 40% more than it really was until I had them fix it. So that's exactly what we do around these categories, right? Got it. Is there any, how, do, how does the compensation work? Is there any fee to start with you and have a consultation? So that, that's the best part about School you Mitchell and what I love most. Hey, we'll come out and evaluate, you know, one or all four categories for you. And we'll come back and say, hey, you're doing good in this one. We can help you save in this one. And if you say, you know what, I like what you're savings. I like that offering. We will split. We just split the savings with you for three years, 50%. So if we save you 200 bucks a month, you save 100. We get, we get 100. Net net to you, you're ahead, 100 ahead, and at the end of three years, it's all 200 to you. Okay. And I, and I want people to kind of understand here in terms of those monthly expenses that we can reduce, how dramatic it is in terms of pure profit that, let's just say that you're selling $500,000 a year of, of goods, okay? And your profit margin is 25%. And Peter can come in and find savings of $1,000 a month. Now, Peter is going to get 50% of that savings, okay? So you're going to net $500 a month. Your profit now has gone up $24,000. I'm going to rephrase that. It's not that your profit's gone up $24,000 you now have to sell $24,000 less of goods to be at the exact same profit, okay? Because you have to think in terms of overhead and the profit margin that you have, you just saved yourself $24,000 of sales and grind to get to that spot. If your profit margin's 20%, you have now saved yourself in terms of a sales quota, $30,000. And if you've got one of those slimmer businesses, which is like at a 10% profit margin, you just save yourself the headache of $60,000 of sales. Just because of Peter finding a thousand bucks a month in terms of savings and you getting $500 straight to the bottom line. So that's really the advantage in terms of looking at your expenses and trying to keep those as slim as possible and then you've got someone that's looking in your corner. I mean, I, you told me with the shipping, you're looking every 20 days to see if they screwed up, right? Yes, sir. So 
we look at the contracts we sign and within those contracts, what is our right to go back and ask for compensation for things not done correctly? If it's a 30 day, like shipping typically is, we're in the 20 to 25 day range. We're going back to those shippers saying, hey, you misdelivered, you didn't do on time and getting the money back for them. If it's, you know, uh, cell phones, it's actually every like 90 days. Okay. And so when you say stuff like not on time, if you paid for a package to be there at 10 a.m., they've got the they've got the barcodes, they've got the timestamps. It was guaranteed to be there at 10 a.m. and it got there at 1045. Those are the types of savings you're talking about, correct? Yeah, that's why we're actively engaged. We're not a one-time engagement three year for you to share in your savings. We're actively engaged in all these areas you know, whatever the time frame, And then quarterly, we come back and report to you. Quarterly, we're going to come back and say, hey, here's, here's what we've done for you this last quarter. Based on this, here's what we expect next quarter to look like. Got it. Um, all 50 states, Canada, Mexico, where, where's your geography? All 50 U.S. plus Canada. Okay. Ter and I'm guessing U.S. territories too, if anyone hears it in Guam or Puerto Rico. Yeah, I think so. I don't think I, I don't I haven't been haven't been approached on that one yet, but I think we, we do cover that. <laughs> oh good. I'm glad I stumped you. Peter, uh any last words, uh best way to contact you? Uh how can people get in touch? So the best way to contact me is you can email me at peter.grady at schooly Mitchell. You can see schooly Mitchell behind me dot com. Or my cell phone is 512-940-9322. And I, you know, I'll answer calls all time of the day. You know, one of the things that in my experience in sales and marketing that I think makes me different is um, I, I want you to be feel like your family, right? I, this is not a one and done, turn and burn type environment. It's, I want to make you so happy that you're out telling two or three of your friends. I know that if I make you really mad, you're going to tell 12 of your friends. So I definitely won't make you mad. I'll make you happy and I'll make you want to share the experience with others. Well, Peter, thank you so much for your time and the wonderful service that you can provide small businesses, not just at the time that we're recording this during, you know, 2020, but really that it can be used at any time in any business cycle, any day, any year. So I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Howard. Really appreciate it.